Hello, citizens of my nation of Mothra. Welcome to the frontiers. Um, so, I've been trying to fix the crashing issue. Um, it's actually turned out to be a lot harder to crack of a of a nut to crack than I thought it would be. Uh, turns out the issue lies in the event that Austria here gets uh, with the death of Vladislav Postumus, and it when it kills Hungary's heir. The game crashes. I don't know why. Maybe possibly it's something to do with their block, because this heir cannot be disinherited. Something to do with that block, maybe some kind of exception to the rules and the game just doesn't compute. Basically what I did was I just killed Austria's heir, uh, ruler and forced him into a PU under Styria. Hopefully this will not cause any issues and we can actually continue playing. And also, hopefully, it doesn't break the script flow of the game, because obviously Hungary is going to have to deal with uh, Ladislaus in a year. Once... well, not a year, but like, when, when Regent Janos dies, they'll have to deal with it. But hopefully we are going to be able to just continue our game as normal. Righty-o, righty-o, shall we? That is assuming that the game just doesn't crash right outright, which it might still... It would be interesting to play as Styria, or Austria at some point. Probably Styria. Styria is probably meant to be the actual unifying force here, but I don't know, maybe it is Austria. I actually am not too certain of the history of the events there. We are, meanwhile, running dangerously, dangerously low on money. I'm even thinking that perhaps we should stop paying for the army, but at the same time we have the Savoy Air Rebels coming in. We have a few more we have some more time. 332 Air, Theodore. In arrival Genoa. We cannot lose uh, money. So now we have an Air of Theo uh, Paleologos. Okay, good. So now that they have revolted, hopefully I will be able to stop paying for the army in the near future. We will not risk the anger of Genoa. I want the prestige. Innovativeness is very really nice, but it's not the time to stack it up just yet. Please move to Siamberi. I really don't want to take more loans than necessary. Alright, luckily we've skipped past 1456 and hopefully, hopefully things are just going to be fine. Okay. Great bouillon famine. The French king is really good. Wait, De Valois? England is ruled by De Valois? Oh, no, it's a regency. Okay. There's no War of the Roses, I don't think. I don't think I've seen it, at least. Wait, did we get money somehow? How did we get money? No, I have a loan. Okay. It was a really high-pitched noise. I really don't know what it was. Hope it wasn't anything dangerous. Let's keep our relationship up, relations up with uh, France. Maybe, 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 maybe they will consider us a friend. We'll be friendly to them. That would be ideal, of course. We're still losing money. Uh, but hopefully, now that we are not going to be paying... Yeah, there we go. We're going to be actually making some money now. Good good stuff, good stuff. Got enough to get that claim on Savoy. There's a truce with France. Our truce with Savoy is going to last a while longer. 
Hopefully they're not going to get the alliance back. Yeah, it's going to last for another nine years. If we pay for the army just a tiny bit more to reinforce it. You are allied with Trier. And... Coming is... So actually, we should be able to take on this guy just fine by ourselves. Maybe we should just go to war with them right away. Right away, sir. So, according to our, my plan, we're boosting stability and then pressing the button to get stability, to get three stability. Sounds like a good plan in my head, at least. My hair is just getting in the way in all sorts of ways, and I don't, don't like it. I am in the picture, and I don't like it. What I'm kind of quietly hoping for is that this person, the Union, somehow dissolves. Because this is just ridiculous. Okay. Only a couple more months until we are able to improve our stability. There we go. Then we do the rule of the prince. Yeah, that gives us stability. Good, good, good. Number of loans less than one. We need to employ all of our advisors and then we'll get some points. Goody goody, that sounds doable. But not right now. Okay. Autonomy here is going down. I'm actually considering lowering it. I really, really, really need the stuff from these lands right away. When can I take this away? Can I be revoked into 1468? Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I will have to wait until I can lower my nobility's influence in the land. Because I did recently appease them, right? I gave them the exclusively noble officers, and then the Diet was summoned. Yeah, we'll have to curb the excesses of the nobility. We'll definitely be picking a curtailed noble privileges here. Oh, well, they actually buffed it a little bit. And they nerfed the strengthening of noble privileges. Okay, that's interesting. Government form war against Milan. So Milan has done their republic thing, where they go into republic form. Can I do more with my stuff? I can get another guy. Let's get another guy before we declare the war. Actually, yeah, we don't have to. And we can uh, we can even call in Sion. Yeah, we'll, we'll call in Sion, just to be safe. So this should give us a little more money. An honorable people, few indeed. Uh, this That's our extra guy. We can make states. We will core this. These should all be our full cores now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We have to do something with the plague, but... Can I avoid taking a loan somehow? This gives me one ducat. 25 ducats if I lose one base tax in Torina. I think it's worth... Uh, why is this autonomy so high? Okay, now it's slow. Okay, good, good, good. I can't decrease autonomy while I'm at war, which is a little unfortunate. We will have to go and fight Trier. Luckily, we've started the siege before them. And we should also have the help of our ally, Sion. Where is Sion? Sion's over there, sieging that. Can they siege that? They can if they are full strength, which they are not currently. God damn it, stop taking... It's like, not much money. Not a lot of money, but it's just like chipping into my economy. I don't like it. I'm in the picture and I don't like it.
Okay. Jesus Christ, what is going on with my hair? It's like sticking out forward all over the place. I really, I really wish it was not the case. It was not the case in the past. I feel like maybe last time I had a haircut, something went wrong. Okay, so we got that. Let's go beat up Trier. Actually, let's go beat up Sun. Um, committing this first. Oh, they're running. If we, if we walk through here, why don't we just walk through? Yeah. Oh, and we're going to kill Kaminin, Kamin, Kaminji, Kaminji over there. That's really nice. Trier should not have. They have tech 4, but we have tech 5. Tech 5 is way better. Also, we have men-at-arms, which are incredibly good at defending at this point of the game. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, we're beating them up. I could probably actually walk over there and siege you down Trier. How about that? Oh. Really? They didn't retreat too far. Like, they didn't retreat far at all. Maybe I should be able to chase them, then, in that case. The Fall of Granada. Oh, well, it looks like the conquest that he conquista is over. Alright, let's chase them. Maybe we'll be able to catch up. Oh, never mind. We cannot walk through Bray's Go. Why are we so slow? That's really slow. It feels really slow, at least. What's going on here? Hungary is losing a war to... Oh. Oh, my. Oh. Oh, dear God. What is... Why would you declare this war? Hungarian conquest of Xi Jinping. Wowie. This Shadow Kingdom. I think you should just let us go, Mr. Emperor. Let my people go. Do 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 do. Let my people go. Ravand, Flanders, Holland. Besançon, Saint Paul, Cambrai, Verdun, and Nevers. Wow, there's a lot of subjects. There's a lot of subjects. All right, now we're gonna siege down uh, Trier's capital. Trier apparently is already there, though. Ah, eh, well, who cares? I certainly don't. Okay, so I've got a bunch of extra windows open that I probably don't have to have open right now, like the Steam, where I was... I did submit a bug report on, um, on the workshop page for the, for the guy, so hopefully they will be able to handle the bug. Ah, yes. Perfect. Forward to glory. Peasants getting up... Oh, no, I don't want to listen to Swedish man. Nobility Estate gains 10 loyalty for free. That's really good, actually, because we need to... We need to know... We need your loyalty to be higher. <sighs> we need your loyalty to be higher than the influence to revoke this. And there we go. Curtail Noble Pl <clears throat> Curtail noble privileges. And we should also switch to autocracy from feudal nobility to reduce the nobility influence even further. How bountiful harvest. We are indeed blessed. That is that is actually really lucky. Lollard heretics rising in Cuneo and Torino. We'll handle them. Brittany has gone bankrupt. 
Brittany. How can I establish fiefdoms? I could just offer vassalization to people? Would anyone even, like, accept my offer? Not really, no. Yeah, not really, no. Even though Sion is technically pretty large. Oh, uh, it's technically pretty small compared to me. Cat meowing in the background. I'm assuming you've heard it. Uh, yeah, the Empire does not concern us. I'm sorry, sir. It's time for us to leave. This does hit our relationship with Styria, but hopefully we'll be able to fix it once we are out of this war. In fact, why don't we start fixing it right away? Revelation. Lollard heretics risen. Hopefully they'll go to Cuneo. Cat, please calm down. What is going on over there? Oh wow, Sion annulled treaties with me. That is surprising. Luckily, Trier's capital has fallen and we can avoid their big army. We can go beat up this rebellion. Now that means that we're only left with Cominge. Styria wants our aid. Yeah, I'll help. Oh, Styria might be able to handle our, our rebels. Then I don't have to worry about this. Unless Hungary is really a threat, which actually it might be. This war seems kind of big, but Hungary is losing, I believe. I still think Hungary is losing. I am upset that uh, Sion decided to appoint bishop. We'll pay a hefty sum of money to ensure that our candidate for clerical office here takes power. Total development at least 100. At peace, have at least 200. Sion. Sion's religion is the same. Sion's opinion is at least 120. Has friendly, threatened, or ally attitude. At peace, not subject. Total development is not 100. Huh. That is interesting. An interesting option. Point bishop. Alright, well, I'm definitely waiting until the Lollard heretics actually move somewhere. I can't I can't walk to Cominge Cominge and uh, they don't they don't seem to be very particularly interested. My allies don't seem to be particularly interested in liberating my homeland from the rebels, which is fine by me, I suppose. I'll go kill them myself. Not gonna bother with micromanaging uh, the armies like I did last time when we fought rebels, because our army should be able to handle this. Barely, apparently. All right. Oh wow, we are we are super weak. We are super weak right now. Oh wow, thank you, thank you, Freeborg. Now you're coming to help. So why are we not uh, not allied? Oh my god, are you kidding me? They hired Condottieri from France. Why? Why? How? I have so... Mm, I have such good relations, though. Hey, Cominge, do you want peace? No. Oh, now I can walk over there, though. That's good. Oh my god. No, I don't want... Mm. Okay, we cannot let them have... We cannot let them... Unseach this. I guess we repay the loan. Shift, consolidate, and go. Uh, we can get a marketplace tech, that's nice. Please leave France. Like, this is so not nice.
Succession of the Crimean Khanate. Oh, we're chasing them actually in the same way they're running. Which is nice. Alright, we made it to Cominge. Can you just, like, peace with me now? No? Okay, fine. Cool. Oh, dear lord. How's that work going, actually? Should I, should I come and help? I should probably come and help after I'm done beating up Saludza. Yeah, probably. It will net me some favors with Styria, and Styria is useful. So it is in my interest to end my war as soon as possible. But I think we'll finish this war in the next episode. This has been, so far, a pretty interesting campaign. I'll see you again next time, and as always, have a good day.